So I recently got a request to look at dates and dates are pretty complicated to do in uh, ggplot. You have to go through a couple steps, but um, even though it's a little complicated, it's pretty easy to do and I'll just go through it right now. So let's say that we're going to make a um, new script looking at just charting the 1995, 1996 bulls and looking at their scores. And so that's something that's pretty fun and then you can have dates on it. So first of all, I'm gonna load my libraries. We're gonna ggplot2 first. And then library scales. Scales is needed for the dates, and we'll go over that real quick. So the first thing, let's open our file. So I'm going to call this file bulls and do a read CSV. And I've cleaned it up a little bit, so you don't have to do that much work on it. But um, we'll go into my. I'm going to go into my ggplot school folder. Get this file right here at the bottom. Clean it up a little bit. Teams CHI Chicago and then header equals true. Header equals true just tells uh, R that the header file, the first the first line, are the headers and the label the names of the variables. So let's take a look at this. So this is the bulls file. Pretty nice. Some dead variables in here like this X, X1, um, because the table came in, but we're gonna want to chart the date here and then TM, which is like the the score. The next thing we're gonna do, and I always do this, is a pretty simple trick, is STR bulls. I'm not sure what it stands for, but it lets you look at the file structure. Here you see date is a factor, and we don't want date to be a factor, we want it to be a um, date. And to get it over, you're gonna have to go through these steps. And the first step is let's just make sure that it's a character variable because we're gonna to wanna to use as date on it. So as date, um, kinda of need it to be a character variable. So here, I'm saying bulls date. I'm gonna assign it to a new variable, date one. And then we look at bulls date one. We're gonna see that, okay, it's a character variable. Next is, is going to see how we get from that character variable to a date variable. And a date variable, um, like in SAS and in R, it's simply a numeric uh, number from a specified date. I'm not sure what the exact one in R is, but in um, I think in SAS it's like 1970, um, January 1st, 1970. So it's in it's a it's kind of a format so you can use inside the program and format it really quickly. So if you need months or weeks or years, it happens really fast. And same thing happens in R. So First, let's pull up another website real quick and let's look at what are the date variable um, formats. And I go to quick R and this is statmethods.net, pretty good site, um, very, really well laid out. And we're gonna see that um, R date variable is um, the day of the week, the month in a three digit, the day, um, the numeric day, two digits, and then the year, four digits. So when we go back to the site, we're gonna see that we're gonna wanna use uh, dash these formats and kind of in this style right here. So format in that style. And we're gonna do conversion from character to date, but the important part is looking up here at this right here, at this um, box and memorizing and um, putting these formats into this format. So let's go back real quick to R. And now we're gonna just write that format. So as date and then bulls date one. And the format is percent A, percent B, percent D, percent Y. And I just pulled that off of that website we just looked at a minute ago. I don't memorize these at all. Okay. And when we try this without assigning it to a variable, we see that, hey, that looks about right. So let's assign it. Bulls date two look at bulls day two cool and if we do str bulls again we see this date two is in a date format date one is a character format so exactly what we wanted so now let's graph it ggplot data equals bulls aes for aesthetics x equals date two y equals tm 
And then let's do a GM point. Nice, pretty nice. So the question that I had from um, the viewer was, how do you change these right here? So this right now is in um, months and maybe you want months, years. So let's just look at that one. So the um, command is scale X date. And you're gonna wanna use labels and then equals. And I pulled this from here, so back up a little bit. I pulled this actually, just go to the ggplot site and I looked up scale X um, or scale date. And then it takes you to this and you can do scale X date on the Y, X or scale X date on the Y. And it gives you all the, um, and it gives you all the functions and terminologies here. So the syntax for it. So I've already pre-wrote it, but I'm just gonna fill it in real quick. And so we're going to do labels and you have to use this date format. So the, um, the format that date two is in right now, is kind of like a free floating format. So you have to format it in some way. And when you format it in some way, it'll come out in the way you want it on the chart. So here we're going to do percent M. And so that's month and then backslash percent capital Y for year. Let's take a look at that. Let's see what that does. Cool. So now we have um, November 1995, December 1995. If you want to do weeks, you can even do that. I think it's percent. So if you want weeks, I had to look it up real quick. Percent W. Hopefully this works. Yeah. So there's the week. The week of the, um, that looks little, I think the week of the month. I think it's capital W. Yeah. So here's the week of the year. 44, 48, 01, 05, so percent W. So just play around with that. There's a lot of, just a lot of functionality, but let's finish this chart off. So let's look at, let's just clean it up a little bit. So I want it to go to zero. I really hate it when this happens. So we'll do a, um, when the Y axis doesn't go to zero, that's like a big, a, a, um, one of those just things I really don't like. So let's fix that. And so, See if that works. Now it's to zero to 120. Looks good. And then the, let's add some labels. Yeah. Date. Score. And then the title we're going to do Bulls 95, 96 season. Rad. Just if we want to be fun, we can take the points red. I think that'll work. Yeah. So that's how you add date stuff. And a lot of these formats are here. You just have to find on the online. Um, I think there's, so there's W's also in this, but just check out these kind of websites. So um, you can also go to the date format somewhere. You can't find it right now, but um, percent D, percent A, and this is the, the trick right here. So it makes it so you don't have to memorize any, you do have to find these, but it makes it so you don't have to do any weird conversions or anything. All you have to do is use those formats on a um, date variable in R and then you'll be able to just play around with it. So I'll put all this code up and I'll put the data set up on GitHub. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Remember to like this video. And if you have other questions about other stuff, feel free. Um, and actually it's pretty fun to kind of think of examples and to go through them. But um, remember to like this video and to subscribe to this channel. Thank you. Bye.